Well, before I say anything, I want to say that I am so encouraged to see not only two people standing up for uh, law enforcement, I also am very happy to see the next generation standing forward. So thank you both, Remington and Father. And brothers and sisters, right on. Pardon? You're making me blush. Oh yeah, it's not just you, brother, all the sisters too. Uh, my name is Art Browning, and I am uh, running this, this election cycle for State Representative District 130, which is in Northwest Harris County, one of the more conservative parts of the entire country. Um, uh, last two years ago, let me say preface this by saying two years ago, I ran for railroad commissioner, a statewide race, which was pretty much a paper, a paper campaign. I didn't get out there. It's, it was a, an experiment to see how many people want to vote for Greens across the state. All they, they don't know my name. Browning, you know, Browning and Remington are two names that are well known in the state. <laughs> but uh, maybe you change your name to Smith Wesson, you might win. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I wanted to encourage you all about the fact that in my race, I got set over 72,000 votes, and that's across the country. That's only 1.5%, 1.49, but if our memory is correct, there was not one county that did not have someone voting just because they saw green on the ballot. So we're growing, folks. We're there. The will is there. Let's do it. Um, so for this, for my race this year, I'm running in a race that has no Democrat. I'm not sure if the Libertarian has dropped out. The incumbent is a, a, a retired police officer, a very quite conservative Republican. And what I want to do is undo much of the damage that was done by the criminally active legislature that just was in session last year. Some of the points that I want to make is make education in Texas first, not second last. Restore the funding that they cut. And not only that, but reform education. They're trying to make every child a widget. They're trying to treat every child the same, and they're forcing us to, to teach to the test. Children are not widgets. Every one of them is individual. People learn in different ways. We need to give teachers the latitude to teach the kids in ways that they learn. Another thing, women's rights. There are a couple of issues here. We need to get the government out of our women's wounds. No more sonogram. We need to repeal that law about the sonogram law that women oh, here, here. cannot make a decision without being told by some legislature what they need to think about. Women have brains and they're doing that. Also, teen pregnancy is on the rise. STDs are on the rise. We need to have education in the school, sex education. I'm talking about real sex education. And for, I'll go further than that and say to you that I think we should have free condoms. Uh, third, voter ID. This goes to the immigrant rights pieces. We need to repeal that voter ID. There has been virtually no voter fraud. Let people vote freely. Yeah. All right. I was going to keep it to a top three, but I can't stop there. I must say the death penalty must be repealed. Innocent yeah. people have been killed. Yeah. And I've got a list of ten more, but I'll stop there. <laughs>